Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime with Andy. Today we are reading Tomorrow I'll Be Brave and not only are we reading but we're going to draw too and so get a piece of paper and a pencil or a crayon ready and we'll be drawing this picture today so be on the lookout for this as we read the book, okay? So this is called Tomorrow I'll Be Brave and you'll see that the author Jessica Heisch kind of draws these words in really fancy ways. It's called hand lettering. So maybe this book will even help you um, learn how to spell some of these tricky words because she spells them out really, really big on the page. All right, we have a special shout out before we begin. This goes to a brother and sister who are fans of story time. This goes out to Beckham and Eliza F. in Winnebo, North Carolina. So hi, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you like this book. Okay, everybody ready? Got your paper, pencil, get your looking eyes. All right, let's read. Tomorrow I'll Be Brave by Jessica Heisch. Tomorrow I'll be adventurous. I'll play and I'll explore. I'll make or learn or try something I've never done before. Tomorrow I'll be strong. I'll climb and jump and run. It doesn't matter if I win, as long as I have fun. Tomorrow I'll be smart. I'll think before I act. I'll solve a puzzle, read a book, and learn a fun new fact. Tomorrow I'll be curious. Please teach me something new. I'll ask why a million times, maybe a million too. Tomorrow, I'll be creative. I'll color and draw for hours. I'll play a game of make-believe and use my magic powers. Tomorrow, I'll be confident. I'll be proud of all I know. I'll stop and smile and think about how much you've helped me grow. Tomorrow, I'll be brave. There's nothing I can't do. I won't be scared, but if I am, I know that I have you. Tomorrow, I'll be all the things I tried to be today. Adventurous, strong, smart, curious, creative, confident, and brave. And if I wasn't one of them, I know that it's okay. But tonight I'm very sleepy, so now it's time to rest. Tomorrow I'll be all these things, or at least I'll try my best. The end. All right, everybody, you ready to draw? Get your paper and your pen or crayon out. And I thought for our book today it would be fun to draw the one where she is learning something new. She says, I'll solve a puzzle, read a book, and learn a fun new fact. And you can see our little bunny is learning all about butterflies in this book. And it shows the stage one of a butterfly, which is a caterpillar. And then it shows stage two, which is a cocoon. And then after the cocoon, we know it becomes a butterfly. So we are gonna draw one, two, three little drawings today. And you guys can do it with me, all right? So first we're gonna draw this caterpillar and it's just a big long oval right so we'll draw you know it's kind of like the shape of a really crusty loaf of Italian bread kind of so there is our body and you can draw a circle up here for its head and you can color that in for its face if you would like and it has two little antenna right here so we can do that and then it has legs and it just goes short, long, short, long, short, long to show that one's on the right side and one's on the left. So you can do as many little legs as you would like. I think that's good for now. And it has these stripes that go all the way down its body. It's, they're in a group of three, so we can do that. Kind of goes short stripe, long stripe, short stripe. Short stripe, long stripe, short stripe, short, long, short. Boom, you got it. There is our caterpillar. Next, we are going to draw our cocoon over here. 
and you can see this is a really easy shape it kind of looks like a leaf um, so this will be really basic we'll just kind of start over here on the right side of your page and just draw something like that and then bring it on down like that okay super simple and you see there's some stripes here to show that the cocoon is kind of like wrapped so you can do that really easily just draw some stripes down all right and then third we're gonna draw da -da -da -da, the butterfly and as you can see his body here looks a lot like the caterpillar's body did which makes sense right so first we're gonna draw the body somewhere down in the bottom right hand um, corner of your page. So we'll draw a circle for a head and um, you can color that in if you want. And two antenna, they're kind of longer than they were when he was just a little caterpillar, huh? And then the rest of his body, which kind of, this time it comes down to a point instead of a round like the caterpillar did. We just bring it down like that, down to a point. And we have the short, long, short, short, long, short stripes like we did on the caterpillar. So, but again, you can draw any kind of design you want. That way it can be unique to you. And now for the big wings. So we're gonna start here at the head come up do one hump two hump three hump and then bring it down to the end of his body okay you guys can do this one two three and bring it down to his body and then over here start around the same area there you go there is your butterfly and the most fun part is to draw all of these shapes and color them in so I'm not gonna draw all of them but you can get super creative with yours if you want you can draw a bunch of different shapes in there you can draw um, all sorts of colors you can do patterns you can have each wing look different totally up to you right this is your butterfly so I'm not gonna fill in all of whoops I'm not gonna fill in all of the um, wings but you can here look we'll just turn this into a shape here see boom how about that like uh, like we say happy accidents all right so you'll see our caterpillar is kind of floating in the middle of the air our cocoon is floating in the middle of the air so they need this tree all these tree branches to crawl on so we're just gonna draw that so your cocoon needs to attach at the top so just draw a line somewhere like that okay and boom, you've got a tree limb. You can draw some extra little limbs off of it if you want. You can draw some leaves if you want. Totally up to you. All right, this is your drawing. And then we need a tree limb over here to show that our caterpillar is crawling on something. So we'll have it kind of come up like that. And like that. And again, you can draw some little extra leaves and branches if you want and we'll do maybe another one coming up here and another tree limb up here you can draw as many tree limbs as you want and we'll bring the trunk down kind of like that okay ta-da stage one stage two stage three and we'll draw the title of the book so that we never forget uh, it's called Tomorrow I'll Be Brave. So wherever you have room on your page, you can do it on the tree, you can do it on the side, at the bottom, wherever you would like. So tomorrow, this is a long word, T-O-M-O-R-R-O-W, tomorrow I'll be and then brave is written really, really fancy, right? So you can maybe make it fancy if you want, or you can keep it really simple. Totally up to you. B-R-A-V, and we'll put our E on the tree here, right? Tomorrow I'll be brave. Ta-da, you did it! Way to go, good job. All right, that was such a great book, and I loved how in the end, 
when the little bunny is saying, tomorrow I'll be all these things, I'll be brave, curious, smart, adventurous, all of that, or at least I'll try my best. And that's the last line in the book and I think it's so important because we can try to be all of those things in one day. Sometimes it's really hard, right? But you can always try your best and there's always tomorrow to keep trying to, right? So be brave or at least try your best tomorrow, okay? All right, so we read our book, we drew our picture. I hope you had fun and hey kids, if you want a special hello, just tell your parents to go on Facebook or Instagram and type a little comment. I'd love to say a special hi to you in future videos, okay? You guys can subscribe to all the future readings on our YouTube channel and as always, stay well and keep reading. Bye.